can feel it in my brain It's gonna take a lot of pain To drag me away from you This time I can see it in your eyes It comes as no surprise You always did love those white lines It's never easy Would've known it If you found it It's never easy I know It's never easy found it, it's never easy, I know, I can feel it in my veins, I've got reasons to complain, all those silly things that you do, I've waited half my life for four kids and a wife, but I'm just a drugstore cowboy too, it's never easy, you wouldn't know it, if you found it, it's never easy, I know. It's never easy You wouldn't know it If you found it It's never easy I know Dojo Deep. Steve? What's it mean? What? Dojo Deep? Son of a bitch. Vietnamese? That's right. When was the last time you left the house? When we went to lectures. Three weeks ago? No, I tell a lie. I went out in the camp uh, Tuesday. Where? No, I just got a little roll. Joining me? Nah, I can't. Popping over to Sarah's. Well, if you manage to escape from under her thumb, let's do a decathlon later. And we need a card thingy for the electric while you're out and all. Isn't it Andy's turn? Whatever, I'll, uh, I'll get one on the way back. Hi, Sarah here. Uh, describe it? Uh, kind of medium height, long blonde hair. Yeah. Uh, kind of weird face. Seen the goonies? Shut up. No one here fits that description. Well, maybe Debbie. Which other is for taking? How much is for heartbreaking? Can I control how much I care? who got picked for the first team today. That's cool. <laughs> yep, until it's after the match. You didn't come and watch. No, I know. What? Is it being at the ground, or...? Yeah. It's not like you're playing, though, is it? Yeah, that's the problem. You'll come and watch one day, won't you? Maybe, please? Sarah, honestly. You got it? Yeah, I came to the club. How was your day? How were lectures? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, lectures were good. Debbie didn't go. 
Listen up. Must be doing different modules to us. You got your essay done? Oh, this. Now this is Debbie's. Debbie's? Yeah, she's going away for a few days. I'm handing it in for her tomorrow. Everyone's away all weekend, actually. I mean, who's stupid enough to run out of ink the night before they've got an essay due in? Oh, Gemma came up with a good one for her earlier. Twiglet. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you think people listen to the blues because they're depressed or got depressed because they listen to the blues? Tom? Hmm? No, no. No, no, just trying to remember which, which essay. You've done it, though. Yeah, 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 no problem, it's fine. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna pop the loop. in Sarah's room. Um, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't actually aware of an essay. When's it due? Tomorrow. It is tomorrow. OK. Right, good, good, good. And um, what's it on? One from that list. OK, the list. Right, and how many words are we looking at? 5,000 words. Oh, it's a 5,000 word, is it? <laughs> good news, good news. Good news, right. If you could just not tell Sarah, kind of forgot. You may as well take Twiglet's essay now. She said something about a hand in sheet or code or something. I, I don't understand the whole psychology thing. <laughs> yeah, no <know the> feeling. <laughs> <clears throat> You're having an early night then, is that right? Yeah, I'm shattered. It was a really tough match. Okay. Okay, well, I might just head off. What? Already? Yeah, yeah. I th thought I'd do something with Steve. Well, no guess is what. <clears throat> Look, screw Mr. Lonely Planet, Tom. Everybody's out tonight, and I think someone deserves a treat for getting their essay done. Yeah, I, uh, I really better go, babe. Sorry. Oh, it's someone planning a surprise for my birthday. You never know. Right, so, I really better head off. Sorry, babe. OK. Mm -hmm. Right. Bye. Steve! We're screwed! I would like to stay alive until I'm at least 25 But I don't think I can promise you that now I would like to be on time for at least once in my How did this happen, man? What? what it felt like. I don't think this is going to go down as one of life's great mysteries, Steve. This is no JFK grassy knoll. I mean, yesterday you asked me in all seriousness, how do you spell psychology? Well, it is quite tricky. We've been doing it over two years, Steve. Come on, we're going to have to gather our notes. Let's pool our resources. This is less than ideal. Nah, man. I reckon I can definitely do something on animal language. Pavlov and all that. With what, 
Steve, you've got more dividers than notes. You've got to be more positive, man. No, you've got to be more realistic. Is the library still open? Library? Damn it, no, it shuts at night. <sighs> Can we just borrow some notes off someone? Who? Keith. Keith went to less lectures than us. Jim? Jim. Jim left the course six months ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like Jim. Kath? OK, two things. First, Kath isn't really speaking to us right now. Second, arguably more critical, Kath doesn't do psychology, Steve. Does she not? No. Hmm, OK. Is this essay important if we don't do it? OK, let me break this down for you, Steve. So, you've got your Jeff Hurst. First? Good. Then you've got your 2-1, uh, whatever. Then you've got your classic Desi. Oh, Desi, Desmond 2-2. Two, two. Very good. And then finally, you've got your Douglas. Oh, hang on. Don't tell me. Douglas Hood, third. Excellent. Now, we are basically on the brink of a Christian Bale here, Steve. Or fail. If we don't pass this essay, we will Christian Bale our degrees. We got food and a roof over our heads. Let's just appreciate what we got, man. I mean, there's no need to panic. In Vietnam... No right? need to panic! Steve, if Sarah finds out how many lectures we've been missing, how much we've been smoking... Honestly, Steve... That's what I was thinking. It's kind of sitting in our laps, isn't it? What? No, that's not what I... You think I'd copy? No. No, I was thinking... I was thinking she's going to have some really good notes. No, that's more or less what I was thinking. Damn it, no, she's away. And I can't ask Sarah for a number. Can't we just borrow her notes? Really? Well, yeah, I mean, think about it. You wouldn't mind if someone borrowed your notes, would you? It certainly wouldn't bother me at all. Hardly surprising. But, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's not really the end of the world, is it? OK. OK, so uh, what's our cover story going to be when we go round? Just... Tell her you left your iPod there or something. Simple. I'm sure we can think of something better than that, Steve. Hi. Did I leave my iPod here? I don't think so. God, come in. Did you even have a week here? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll show you a quick look. Uh, where are you going? Oh, the bathroom, sorry. The bathroom? Yeah, yeah, I thought it might be in the bathroom. I took it out to have a look when, uh... Steve? Sarah? It's the weather's weather, a bit yeah. dumb. I'll just... See if I can go and help. No! Could I have a cup of tea? What? You want a cup of tea, Steve? Milk? Sugar? Well, I actually prefer herbal teas, but... Got it, babe! <clears throat> Forget the tea. Bye. <laughs> How long's Debbie away for? Dunno. Two, three days, I think. Well, that's fine then. Cup of tea? Yeah. No herbal crap, though. 
We should probably do something about this at some stage. Most of it's Andy's. He can do it when he gets back. Looks like she's been to just about every lecture. Outstanding. Cheers, mate. Mm. Oh. Cheeky biff to the kick-off proceedings. Steve? What? It's not the end of the world, man. It might help us relax a bit, you know? We haven't tended to produce our best work, Stone, even if we thought we were writing Nietzsche. No, there's no way I'm smoking. Not tonight. OK. Have you even thought about which essay you're going to write? Well, the same one as Debbie, of course. You're doing the same essay as Debbie? Well, of course I am. She'll have extra notes and stuff. You're not? Don't know. <sighs> Come on, man, think about it. There's not much time. Yeah, I guess. OK, but just a note. We're not looking at her essay. No, just a note. Just a note? Just a note. Just a note. OK. Good. Right, well, I'll just put this here so we're not tempted. Don't let me forget it. Outstanding. Yeah, I finally managed to gather a remote out of Debbie's hands. <laughs> now she's gone away for a few days. Uh, no, you really don't understand, Kate. Like, you really don't understand how weird it gets. I mean, I've just turned the TV on, and no joke, she's watching the shopping channel. She's watching the shopping channel. I mean, that's just not right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, who in the hell watches this rubbish? There's no going back. You won't be phoning up again and saying, Derek, I need another one. It's broken. It's not going to happen. Do you know what? Do you know what this is worth? Value-wise, I dread to think. Well, the Armchair Shopping Network, we're talking twelve ninety nine, the super bargain low price. Twelve ninety nine. There it is, the microwave egg cooker. Steve, what are you doing? Excellent. This is really good, man. I'm not joking. Like you'd be remotely interested in this if you didn't have an essay to write. This is a brand new, completely revolutionary, holistic approach to cooking eggs in your microwave. Throw in the just twelve ninety nine. It's an egg timer. This is basically what people use before they have clocks. Steve? What the hell are you doing? Just clearing the washing up, man. It's not worried you for the past three months. It's up to me what I do, man. Want a bit?
you ever thought, right, man, if you were told that you were going to die in, say, a year's time, there is no way you'd be doing this essay. Probably need a couple more drinks before I can take part in this conversation. I would like to settle down, find some peace in my little town, but I don't rate my chances much now. I would like to be in love for any. One game. Make it quick. <laughs> Ten thousand meters. Yeah, I slipped. Whatever. My X button's sticking. Oh, uh, do you want mine? You can swap if you want. If you fail this essay, you'll have to sell your camper. What? Nothing. It's just if you fail, there's no way your parents will let you keep it. Shut up. You'll have to sell it to pay for the fees you wasted this year. That's all I'm saying. You reckon? Just imagine though, wouldn't it be bad? No camper, tons more debt, and having to retake the air. That's all I'm saying. Just looking out for you, mate. Let's hope everything goes to plan. Let's get away with what we can. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Get no, 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 the notes, the notes. Quick, get them out of the folder. We'll just dry them, it'll be fine. They'll be creased. Iron? You ever done it? No. Do we have an iron? Don't know. We'll cross that bridge tomorrow. <sighs> Is it going to be enough space? If I die, please cremate me I'd sure hate to stay in one piece I got love for you, baby But you just won't let me be Forget all my misgivings Okay, that's it. This is ridiculous. What? Steve! You do whatever you want, man. I haven't got time for this. Are you just copying it straight? No. It's just based on it. Whatever. Hey, can you pass in here a second, please? Let me just see if it helps make sense for notes. Outstanding. Shut up. Mine's just going to be inspired by it, that's all. Whatever. Hello. Hi, baby. 
You okay? Yeah, just off to bed. What are you up to? Nothing, you know, just, uh, just chilling, you know. Yeah, the storm's unbelievable. Mm, yeah, yeah, I know, really bad, really bad. How many words you have? <coughs> are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, just, uh... Oh, you've gone? Yeah, it's really bad. Debbie's heading back, all the roads are flooded. Tom? Yeah, sorry, babe, just, uh... Lost you there for a second. Gonna have to sign off, it's a really bad line. Okay, well, night night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Unlikely. What? Where's the iron? How hot? Cotton, polyester, or wool? It doesn't seem to be a setting for paper. Don't know. Just not too hot, I guess. See how it goes. Steam on or steam off? Maybe it's best if I do the ironing. <sighs> Can't believe I'm ironing notes on OCD. You think you could help, mate? Yeah, in a minute. Oh my god, shit, Steve, look at this. Reminds me of my sister's friend. Should we do something? Like what? Friends must have seen. She got any friends? Let's just, uh, let's just pretend we didn't see. I've got anorexia and Bulimia. I've got depression and schizophrenia. I've also got OCD and agoraphobia. I'm struggling with anxiety. Or was that earlier March sometime? How are we going to get us back in a room, man? Yeah. Don't know. Has Sarah still got a key to the house? Of course. Of course, we'll just say we locked ourselves out. Right. Okay, so. So this, this is the house. Looks like a cricket pitch. Whatever. These, these are the stairs. Uh, this is a kitchen. This is Sarah's bedroom. And Debbie's room is here, directly above. Oh, and this is the bathroom. OK, so, we enter here. I tell Sarah that we've locked ourselves out. Steve, you with me? Come on out, mate. We need to pull together here, buddy. This is our time. We're a team now. I need 110% all the way. Oh, I'm knackered. Is that red OK? That'll do. OK, so what will happen is this. I will look for the keys with Sarah, which will be either here in her room or here in the kitchen. You need to ask to go to the toilet, which will give you an excuse to go upstairs here, creep into Debbie's room and put back the folder. OK. What if the key's upstairs? Trust me, mate. The keys won't be upstairs. OK. I'm ready. Great. Let's move out. Have you got Debbie's folder? Folder? What? 
No, we, uh, no, we locked ourselves out. Right, but have you got Debbie's folder, yes or no? Yeah. Pass it here. She's locked herself in the bathroom. Hi, Debbie, it's Tom here. Look, we're sorry, we took your folder. We just needed some notes, that's all. Why did you have her folder? We just borrowed it. We didn't think she'd mind. When? Earlier on, when you came round to buy your iPod? Yeah. So what, that was just a lie? Well, kind of, yeah. Kind but... of? What? Why did you need her notes? Have you not done the essay? No. What am I meant to say, Tom? You just blatantly lied to me. But it was just a little white lie, that's all. I knew how you'd react. I knew you'd blow it all out of proportion. But blow it out of proportion? What? You just lied to me, Tom. Does trust mean anything to you? Uh, sorry, see this. This is what I mean. Uh, don't turn this around on me, Tom. Why did you need her notes? Let's talk about that, shall we? Because you told me you were going to lectures. We missed one or two lectures. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal? You're a dropout, Tom. Can't you see that? Sorry, I can do whatever the hell I like, OK? Not with me, you can't. You're not his mum, Sarah. Well, shut the hell up, Steve. So, wait, I've just got to do whatever you say from now, is that right? Why did you miss lectures? <laughs> oh, my God. You're stoned now. I can't believe this. Yeah, but he's not as stoned as me, though, Sarah. Well, congratulations, Steve! You don't understand, do you? You don't realise how hard it is for me every day with this injury. You just don't care. Well, how long is it going to take, Tom? How long do I have to feel sorry for you for? Tell me, please, because I've been waiting long enough. Waiting for what, Sarah? Waiting for me to be a cricket captain again? Have you noticed I can't play anymore? Have you even noticed that? That dream's over. This is not about cricket, Tom. This is about basic self-respect. This is about you giving up on life and losing any sense of integrity. Integrity? What the hell? What's that meant to me? I'll tell you exactly what that means, Tom. Did you copy Debbie's essay? Yeah. Steve! So you did? We looked at it, yeah. But that wasn't the plan. Why else do you think we went to the trouble of getting Debbie's notes, Sarah? Tell me that. Well, that's not the issue, Tom, is it? The issue here is that you Debbie, copied... stop singing. What? Debbie, she's not singing anymore. And? Well, I mean, is she OK? I mean, it's a bit worrying, isn't it? After what we saw in her notes. What? What did you see in her notes? Just pass the folder. It's not surprising. Do you have any sympathy? What? Can you hear anything, mate? No. I really hope she's OK. Yeah, me too. Right. We're going to have to break the door down, I reckon. Well, what are you doing? This isn't going to prove anything. I'm actually pretty worried about Debbie here, Sarah, even if you're not. <clears throat> OK. There's a spot. Right. Locked. You said it was. Debbie, Debbie, are you OK? Oh, that knocked me for six. You've been drinking? You told me you were allergic. I didn't say I was allergic. I said I react very badly. We were really worried about you, Debs. We thought you might have hurt yourself or something. Really? Look, don't worry. We know you've got some issues, but we're here to help. My dad knows this person. She probably just needs someone to listen to her, Sarah, that's all. Of course she knows I'm here to listen. Don't you, Debbie? Thanks. So, you stole my lecture notes and copied my essay? We're sorry, Debbie. Yeah, we just missed a couple of lectures, that's all. Really? Because I think I've only seen you in uni three or four times this term. What? Sarah. You've been lying to me all this time. Oh, get out! Sarah, come on. Sarah, please, uh, you're being overdramatic. Go, Tom, it's over. What? I've nothing more to say to you. Well, that's it. Sarah, come on, please, this is us.
Come on, man. I think we better go. Sarah. all my notes then. Pretty screwed up, huh? Here's me pretending I'm all better now. Thanks for saying you'll listen. I really appreciate that. It's fine. So I'll see you downstairs in a minute then. What? I'll see you downstairs for a chat. Now? Yeah, if that's okay. Would it not be better to maybe get some sleep, Debbie? Talk about it in the morning. I, I can't think straight right now. No, I'd like to talk about it now, if that's okay. That's fine. Thanks, Sarah. You're one of the good ones. So you got a fresh start and a whole new life. You took another's home. You get so lonesome Now there's no one around Oh, you get so lonesome Now that she's not around So you got right out of this one-horse town You gave up the nightlife just to quieten down You knew woman and paycheck are all you need for the wealthier, the wise, anyhow. So that's my grandparents. I've got two older brothers, but they're much older, so I was pretty much an only child growing up. My dad's in the RAF, and when I was ten, he got posted to Germany. All right. They didn't think it would be a good idea for me to go with them. Didn't want me to pick up the accent. Nice to know they had a genuine reason for leaving me behind. Yeah. So that's when I went to boarding school. It was pretty much downhill all the way from there. Andy? I got this imported from Vietnam. I had it when I was out there. But with postage, it works out at about 27 quid a bottle. Probably won't do that again. Whoa, man. I'm serious. This is Megarot. I'm fine. Anyway, it's probably the best thing to happen, man. I mean, she was always telling me what to do and stuff. I mean, that's not right. It's like this, um, this balance thing I learned in Vietnam. I'll, um, show you. Um, move pen. Right, so on the one side, right, you've got Sarah, all her interests and stuff, right? And on the other Is that my phone, Sam? Oh, yeah, sorry, man. You idiot. Oh, calm down, it's not the end of the world. No, not for you, you knob. Well, let's try and get a bit of perspective here, is it? In Vietnam, right? You're not in Vietnam anymore, Steve. You're not in Vietnam. What the hell's that meant to me? You come out with all this crap all the time. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm very sorry. Just because you've never been anywhere. Why would I want to? No. Why would I want to? Drinking herbal tea, buying a shit camper, it's hardly a revolution. Oh, so I it? can't drink herbal tea now, can I, Captain? You only do it for show, Steve. All the cups in your room have got hot chocolate in. 
Well, at least I know who I am. Who are you? What? Yeah, who are you, Tom? Now that you haven't got cricket. How can you possibly say that? I thought you were my mate. Oh, I'll tell you about mates, Tom. Mates come crawling back to spend time with you when they haven't got any other options left. Why would I want to spend time with you, Steve? Why would I want to spend time with you? Everyone knows you only smoke weed as an excuse to avoid risking failure. It's pathetic. You've given up, mate. I've given up? Look at you, man. You think you're better than me or something? Face it, man, you're no different to me. You're no different. You know what, Steve? I think I am. I think I am. Hi, Sarah. Tom. Yeah, I just thought I'd phone you to let you know that I'm not giving up that easily. I'm not gonna let it end like this. Not gonna happen. You think I've got no integrity? You think that? Well, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Trust me, Sarah, I'm gonna prove you wrong. You know the essay? Debbie's essay? I'm not gonna copy it. In fact, you know what? Wait, wait one second. You hear that? That's Debbie's essay. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Listen to this. You hear that? That's Debbie's essay. I am tearing Debbie's essay and I'm gonna rewrite my own one from scratch tonight. And I'm gonna come round to yours tomorrow and show you what you mean to me. And just to remind you, you're going to have to reprint Debbie's essay. Not sure if that was clear. <sighs> Your copying days are over, mate. Why? What's happened? The right thing. That's what's happened. Debbie's? All gone, mate. Sorry. If we're gonna fail, we're gonna do it the right way. Fine. Not bothered? No, it doesn't bother me at all. Wasn't gonna copy anyway. You're not the only one with a conscience, Tom. Believe it or not, I actually felt pretty bad for Debbie. It's just that I don't have to make a big song and dance about it like you. So you weren't going to copy anymore? No. Of course not. OK. So I guess it wouldn't bother you if I just deleted what you've already done? No. You? Not at all. Prove it. You prove it. Fine. Fine. You ever been bullied, Sarah? Uh, no. No, I haven't. You don't know what you're missing. At an all-girls school, they can be like vultures, I tell you. Pick you apart, right to the bone. Do you know any girls like that, Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, they're the worst, aren't they? They call it boarding school, but it's more like a cat's home. How can anyone blame you for having problems when you've been through something like that? Sounds terrible. I've made progress, but the battle's never really over. Yeah. The notes in my folder. Um, just remnants of an old bad habit. Do you think it might be an idea to maybe stop drinking? I, I don't know. No. I definitely want to keep drinking. deleted it? Yep. And the recycle bin? Practically. You? Pra 
practically. So when I came to uni, I was determined to leave all that behind, try and not be the one with all the problems for once. But tonight, with the notes, it just feels like I'm back to where I was before. Debbie, come on. No one's judging you. Are they not? Do you like blues music, Sarah? What? I don't know. It's OK. Because I've been thinking, do you think people listen to the blues because they're depressed or get depressed because they listen to the blues? Just a question I've been asking myself lately. Pass the internet cable. No. You're not even using it. So? Don't be a knob. I need to print off a journal. You're not the captain now, Tom. So, Sarah, why do you hate me? What? Why do you hate me? What are you talking about? Why do you hate me? Uh, Debbie, please, I think you've had too much to drink. Why do you hate me? I don't understand. Do you want me to say something bad? I don't understand. Why do you hate me? Oh, this is too much. You play your music too loud sometimes? I don't know. Did you ever think that if you can hear my music, maybe I can hear quite a lot from your room too? What? The chimney, Sarah. The one that connects both our rooms. The chimney? What? <sighs> Boy, does some crap get blown up it. I know you all call me Twiglet. I know that I'm the one who never buys washing powder. I'm the one who wastes my time on computer games. I'm the one who makes the kitchen broom look fat. Uh, Debbie, I... Do you know why I turn my music up so loud? Do you know why, Sarah? So I can't hear what you're saying. I've never heard any talking coming from your room. Well, you know why that is. You know why that is, Sarah. Because no one comes to talk to me, that's the truth. When I left school, my psychology teacher told us how all student houses have a scapegoat. All of them helps a house run smoother. Do you know what it's like to wake up one day and realise you're that scapegoat? Unbelievable! Andy's labelled his milk! Cold now, isn't it? Andy labelled his milk. How sad is that? Drick, you could just pass the internet cable for one second. Cheers, mate. We all say stuff in private that we don't expect others to hear, you know? It's just me letting off a bit of steam. Are you honestly trying to tell me that because you called me a concentration camp victim in private, that I shouldn't be worried or it doesn't count? No. I'd say they're the most honest things you've ever said to me, Sarah. I don't know what I meant to say. Well, as I see it, we've come to a bit of a fork in the road here. 
I know you're desperate to go to bed, but I'm also aware of the fact that we've just opened an industrial-sized can of housemate conflict which kind of needs clearing up. So I'm going to give you two options. Right. Option one, you go to bed and tell all your friends in the morning what a mistake it was saying those things in a room beneath mine. Or stay, finish this bottle and maybe we'll work some of this out. It's not really a choice, is it, Debbie? Of course it is. Look, Sarah, at this point you can't really offend me anymore, so if you want to go to bed, be my guest. Or stay, and maybe risk finding a friend beneath this pile of skin and bones. It's just so late, Debbie. Is there no way we can do this another day or another time? I mean, I'd be more than happy to, honestly. You can't kick this kind of conversation off from cold. But as I say, if you want to go to bed, be my guest. I'll get a glass. I'm stuck on a winning streak, baby without, yeah, baby without you. I'm stuck on a winning streak, baby, it's too good to be. I'm stuck on a winning streak, baby without, yeah, baby without you. I'm stuck on a winning streak, baby, it's too good to be true. I'm stuck on a winning streak, baby without, yeah baby without you. Mm, I'm stuck on a winning streak, baby. You did get a card earlier, didn't you? No. Oh, shit. I know, shut up. I'll go to the shops. No. We'll get charged somewhere. Where? Ben's. That's like a half hour walk. The camper? It's not working. Again? I had an idea of how to show you my life, who I am. Okay. I was thinking a tour of my house. Your house? A tour of my house. What, your home or I, no, I don't no, no. know. This will be a tour of number 45 right here. Or at least the number 45 I live in. From what I understand, it's a different place to where you live. Right. I think I get you. So this is basically a guilt trip. Essentially, yes. Great. Where do we start? Right here, I think. Let's talk about the remote control. I mean, let's really talk about the remote control. I understand you think I hog it. Well, no one else can get close. Do you consider the fact that I actually own the TV? Well, that doesn't matter. It's in the lounge, so... It's in the lounge because I chose to put it there. I thought it might be sociable. I don't have a TV in my room like everyone else. You don't? Well, what are we meant to do if you don't say anything? Well, if you talk to me once in a while, you might have realised. Right. This way, please. To the kitchen of Pitchin. On the tip of your tongue Displacing fate with difficult outcomes And I can see things so clear Well, my epitaph is plain I've got nothing else to say Except I don't get it Sweetheart, it is true that I am far from well adjusted And my actions as a lay should not be trusted But I wanna know And? I don't know, panicked. Typed a paragraph into the calculator. <laughs> my battery's not gonna last. Okay, just shut up. Let me think. Okay, maybe you were right on that one. Width-wise, I've got maybe one or two centimetres more than you. Thank you. But let's take a look in the freezer a second, shall we?
I make it you have nearly half the freezer space, even though there's four of us in the house. Well, no one else buys freezer stuff, so I kind of presumed it would be okay. That's because there's nowhere to put it. Okay, okay, no, I take your point. Right, where next? I know, the wok. The infamous non-stick wok. We thought. I haven't got much choice. I've run out of credit. I've barely used it, and only with a wooden spoon. Well, who scratched you then? Have you ever seen Gemma making her famous egg fried rice? It's a fairly aggressive process. It only slips down so easily because it's about 60% Teflon. And I am not just a injured cricket player, slightly lame friend, and phenomenal lover. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, come on, mate. We need to get a plan together here. Yeah. Let's think. I just get the feeling that you don't take the bin bags out as much as everyone else. Oh, no, but that's because of my back, which I sort of hoped everyone realised. Yeah, no. No, I hadn't realised. But, Debbie, you should really say something. We don't know unless you tell us. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. OK, I've got one. Me too. What? You first. OK. So, there's a 24-hour shop in Roth. It's about a 40-minute walk, but it might sell one. That's two hours out, but it still leaves a couple of hours for writing. I'll walk it if I have to, even if it means risking hypothermia. What's your plan? Andy's got a card in his room. What? Yeah, I just remembered. He keeps one for emergencies. But this might qualify. Yeah, but his room's locked. OK, so, plan is I'm going to give it a little kick, break the lock. It's fine. Trust me. That's a sweet spot. <clears throat> what the hell do they make these doors out of? Something between wood and paper, by the look of it. Hmm. It's a fire door. Only in the sense that you did start a fire one. Right? 
jackpot. Oh, won't you come and dance? Come on, for goodness sake. We are back in business. The hair in the plug hole thing isn't me because I clear it out every time. I don't buy washing up powder for the house because I have my own, which I keep in the cupboard. And the reason I sometimes turn the heating off is because the radiator's broken in my room. It got so hot once I nearly passed out. No, whoa, <laughs> slow down. I need to take each of those blows separately. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't do this anymore. I feel too bad. No, honestly, hit me. I really need to feel some pain. Oh, no, not that. You and Tom, you must feel terrible. I'm sorry. No, no, it's not your fault. Trust me, I blame you if I could. <laughs> Ricky, you pass the internet cable, please, mate. Yeah, no problem. Cheers. Are you cold? We could try putting the heating on once in a while. If we spent half as much on heating as we do on weed, it'd be like the Sahara in here. We could grow the stuff ourselves. Not gonna happen, mate. This injury, you know, it destroyed him. It was his dream to play professionally. I mean, what can I do? I can't just sit there and watch him wallow, watch him smoke away his life. Do you know Steve? Not really. That's probably for the best. When I think about not being with him, it breaks me up, honestly. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Debbie? What's your relationship status? Single? To very single. It's not as easy for me. Why? Well, I look at you. Look at all the girls in Union, you know, they've not got the issues I've got, you know. He wants to take all this on board. Of course, you don't think I've got any problems? Well, no, obviously you're a bit of a bitch. <laughs> Seriously, you don't have problems like I do. Or the eating thing. I get depression. My back. Uh, wait, stop. You, you think life's a breeze for me? Whether attitudes predict behaviour or not, is essentially an argument concerning the toilet spray, which removes 99% of harmful bacteria every time. Probably shouldn't have put the TV on earlier, should I? <laughs> What's the biggest font you reckon I can get away with? I'm on 15 at the moment. 15? Steve, it'll look like the large print edition. Well, what about spacing, right? I'm on 2.3 at the moment. Now that 0.3 gives me an extra page. <laughs> I brought the margins in as well, but it's starting to look a little bit like a newspaper column. I'm just trying to shoehorn in the word holistic. I'll be damned if it doesn't give me an extra grade. No. No, I didn't. Yeah. Look, I can't imagine what you've been through, Debbie. Honestly, it sounds horrific. But don't think having problems makes you abnormal. Maybe we're all damaged goods. What about Tom? Can he be damaged too? OK, well, officially free to go to bed now. I think I've made you feel bad enough for one evening. <sighs> Thanks. You staying up? Yeah, kind of gone past the point of tired. I think I might have a spinning room scenario with all this ginger wine too. <laughs> yeah. You mind if I... You mind if I possibly join you? Really? Absolutely, you're more than welcome.
up the fragments and bind them with glue Start from the outside and find the beginning Let out your breath together again I didn't mean to make you feel lonely I didn't mean to fall at the seams It's inconsequential, I waited forever Left with my memories and piles of string Stitches and scratches and playful daydreams Take out some scissors and cut out a square patch Mend up my limbs with needle and thread Don't let your friends go, their words beyond value Hold such things closely together I didn't mean to make you feel lonely I didn't mean to fall at the seams It's inconsequential, I waited forever Left with my memories and piles of string Stitches and scratches and playful days Thanks for that. Annoyingly good fun. <laughs> Just six or seven hours dedicated practice every day. You'll get there. Sleep well, Debbie. Yeah, you too. The black's dead, man. Must have been Andy. OK, there's some life in the colour one. Well, that's not much use to us. Maybe if we... Tom, man. I don't want to lose it, Steve. I know. If she sees you've done the essay, though, you know? Yeah, maybe.
use language. Clearly. I didn't do either of these. Really? They literally microwave everything. In fact, watch this. Sarah. Sarah. Demi. Hi, Tommy. You're here. I don't understand. Steve, wake up. Good morning, Vietnam. Come on, she's here. Sarah's here. And Debbie. Oh. Hi. Unfortunately for you guys, I decided not to walk in by myself today. Yeah, I said you two might actually be worth talking to, so no Vietnam chat, Steve. What time is it? It's just gone 8.30. Did you get my message? We did the essay. <gasps> we did the essay! Yeah, we saw, we saw, but I've only just turned my phone on. Right. Debbie! Your essay. That's it. Don't worry, I printed it out again this morning, just in case. <sighs> Sorry again, Debbie, about what happened. It's all right, I've almost forgiven you. Almost? Do it. Did you just see that? It was like something to do with your thumb or something. Yeah. It's kind of like a, um, a flick. Yeah, I mean, I didn't have my glove on, right? But... these bin bags? I mean, it would literally take you about 15 seconds to take them outside. It's not our turn. Well, whose turn is it then? Andy's. I never want to tell you about the ways they'll do you in. They'll terrorise and rationalise you just to find out where you've been. And I say, no, 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 that's not the way that I wanted it to be. of young men but you won't find it in me they'll be the first to talk you up they'll be the first to bring you down and they'll tie you to a pedestal and they'll watch you out of town and i say no 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 that's not the way that i wanted it to be you find it in the hearts of some men, but you won't find it in me. Side by side with you, they'll take you by the hand And they'll fill you with such confidence Just so you think you understand But I say no, 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 that's not the way that I wanted it to be You will find it in the hearts of those 
man, but you won't find it in me. Get you. 